Sananga comes from the shrub of the Tabernay Montana shrub and Tabernanthi Iboga, I believe they're somewhat cousins or related. Sananga, um, hunters would use this medicine, it's an eye drop, they would use it to see through thick, dense forests, so it helps increase depth perception and vision. Experiencing these medicines so that you can speak to people about how they might be able to help them, that's really a big part of my motivator. Like you, the ski instructor analogy I love. It's like, oh, I'm gonna teach you how to ski, but I've never actually skied before. Right. Like, cool, so, you know, if I'm in Talisman, oh, you might really ben benefit from Sananga, yeah. um, but I have no idea what it actually, the sensation is, or what the quality of the afterglow yeah. might be like. So I guess it's kind of um, research, that's been R and D. She's R and D. R and D. Yeah. You know? That's been my intention several times. Yeah, and I'm so passionate about um, just getting out of this pharmaceutical-driven culture. Sananga sessions typically about 20 minutes. We'll start with a little bit of grounding work or breath work um, beforehand, just just to get the heart open to receive the medicines. Keep your eyes closed. I'll put one in your left, one in your right. When I say open, you'll open. Okay. Open, well, blink, get the medicine in, breathe. Every time I do Sananga, I end up kind of shaking and, and breathing a lot, just the evacuation of the accumulated energies and stressors. I think some indigenous cultures in Brazil call it windshield wipers of the soul, because it's also on an energetic level, it's ridding the body of panema. Kind of like that gray cloud that would follow you around, like a mental fog. We would call that frustration, irritation, anger in our culture. It does feel like lightning in the eyes a little bit. Sananga is also used to treat glaucoma, cataracts, any ocular problems. It's a purification medicine, you know, it does a lot of similar things Combo does in the aspect of, you know, mental clarity, clearing, you know, cloudy thoughts, uh, cloudy energies. So yeah, it's powerful, awesome medicine. <laughs> yeah, try and look up, down, left and right with your eyes closed, get the medicine around. There you go. You'll get, you'll get a second wave. Euphoria, in essence, um, a giggle was released, or just... I never reached euphoria, but yeah, at the beginning it's kind of like, whoa, this is happening. Mm -hmm. A very lightning bolt is good, it comes good hard, on, you know, it but, then, <laughs> but then very quickly you understand what it is. It doesn't get more intense, you know, you understand yeah. this is it. Yeah, you're and, in it. And then that's when I tried to just with the medicine and I realized myself trying to replicate or guide or figure it out and then I went no that's not right and that's when everything just started bubbling around my head and I went okay I'm just here and it really grounded me into just being here and then when that happened then I felt like just a warm blanket of just nurturing felt very soft feminine nurturing blanket like energy that was just with me can you see my eyes? I can't, I can't see anything because I, I have contacts my eyes. So I can't see. They're a little red. You're a little red. You're that was beautiful. I just am in such awe of ding, um, these different medicines because you kind of go into like, all right, let's see, what, let's see what, you know, this might have to offer. And 
beautiful, that nurturing energy that you were talking about. For both of us, if I'm being authentic and real, I'd say right now, I don't know what it did for me. Um, you know, I'm not seeing rainbows out of my eyeballs or anything. Um, and I'm not- it's Worth trying, worth experiencing? Yeah, I mean, again, I came in not thinking I was gonna do it and then did it for Ra Shaman and the experience of it. And so, you know, time will tell. And I think that's really the truth of anything. It's like, I don't want to know. I don't need to know right now. I'm just going to live in the experience mm -hmm. and it's going to unfold in however it needs to. So I'm not going to force it. I, it's not that I didn't like it or did like it. It was, it was, uh, I loved Kevin. I loved the bond and the connection. I loved being with a new energy and just experience. And experiencing and experiencing. it, I guess. Just yeah, having the whole experience. New. Kevin had a phenomenal phrase, you have to meet the medicine halfway. And I think what you're saying is meeting the medicine halfway, where it's like, hey, I was open to the experience. Now I'm going to be open to what it unravels as, um, as part of the integration is when the real part of any ceremony or session, I think is a more appropriate word with Sananga, we're told. So it made me want Cambo. Ooh, to be cambo, cambo. <laughs> which I didn't think so okay well That's maybe she needs a new cambo all right thank you to Kevin though no, that was oh yes so much love yeah. to Kevin all right until next time see ya